people at Ali started to move toward Rafah area where security forces were holding position. Security forces retained themselves and at 1640 a small group started to leave but other groups moved toward the barriers trying to remove it to march towards the roundabout. At the same time, the group located at the roundabout started to move towards the rally. This left the security forces with no choice but to use eight shots of tear gas in order to disperse the two sides and prevent skirmishes between them. At 17.20, all groups dispersed. The Ministry of Interior denies rumors saying the forces used bullets or there were injuries, including several from gas inhalation. The development of the situation could have led to dangerous skirmishes between citizens who were in the thousands. The dealing by a civilized manner by the security forces and the way they restrained themselves has prevented major damage to society peace. The ministry affirms that it has dealt with the situation in order to prevent any harm and damage to the people of the one nation. It affirmed that it will take legal action against anyone who tries to break the security and public law. As per the directives of the Minister of Health, Dr. Nizar al Baharna, and in implementing the approved emergency plan at the Ministry of Health, the Ministry has made all the preparations to cater for injuries. The action plan includes the opening of the health centers as emergency centers, in addition to Selmania Medical Center. The health centers include Ali Health Center, Hamad Kano Health Center, Isa Town Health Center. The above centers have been provided with the necessary health cadres as well as medical equipment. The Ministry the Ministry of Health has received on Friday evening, 11th March 2011, both at Salmani and the above mentioned health centers, 774 people who suffered injuries, most of which were due to tear gas inhalation. The injured have been provided with the necessary medical treatment. The majority of the injured has been discharged after receiving treatment. Remaining are 17 injured, six of which have been admitted, and 11 are kept in a recovery room under observation. The ministry wishes the injured speedy recovery and would like to extend thanks to the medical team, including doctors, nurses and paramedics.